none of you will get wrongly married. Amen. The enemy shall not carry you into a world you don't want to be. Amen. You will not regret your relationship all through your life. Amen. Just get yourself spiritually built up. You'll be hearing the slightest sound from heaven on every issue of your life. On every issue of your life. I will have been wrongly married forever and pay for it forever. God just said, you are wrong. What? Thank you, Jesus. I had direct. Now, listen to me. This young lady has divorced three times. Nobody could see that except the Lord. Imagine the cost of that to this ministry today. Imagine if this ministry had gone whether the attack is from wherever I don't know, but it will have landed on me at the same time. None of us knows the future like the one who creates it. So let's connect with the one that creates the future. You may be given a job to do a business to start, and it may not look like anything meaningful. But watch, tomorrow you're having thousands of people, hundreds of thousands, working in that same establishment. Just please build up spiritually. I read plenty of spiritual books. Plenty. I started building my own spiritual library since 1974. Maybe I, I told you here that I read eight books on marriage before we were married. As ordinary as we maintain marriages, I read eight books. Four of them by Walter Trubbish. Eight books on marriage. What are you looking for? Looking for the best that God has in mind in marriage. At the end of the day, I came with an I, I came across an encounter that made me exclaim, "Now I'm set for hitch free marriage." And believe me, it has been hitch free. As ordinary as marriage is, some never read one book in life. They just with closed eyes. I do. In sickness, in death, in sorrow, in failure, I do. Why won't you be in sorrow and failure, I say, sir? I crafted what they read. You can't read nonsense all my life. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. There are things that would never fly for me in engagement. Never. To break in covenant. I was a key player. Not that I said somebody would go and represent me wrongly. Key player. When I was being ordained in Kaduna. You are going to lay hands on me. I, I stood up. I said, That man, no, this one must not lay his hands on me. Then I said, Okay, okay, okay. All of you join your hand. So if I see his hand, I'll jump up. No, I have only one head. I don't have to. Don't spoil it. Like, it's all about life. Active enough to know what should not be. Can I passionately plead with you? Don't toy with going into marriage. Don't toy with it. Don't toy with it. Don't close your eyes. My mama says, I agree. agree on, is he going to live there? Agree on what? Agree on what? If you are not able to know where you should go, you are not ready for marriage. You know that uh, this papa who said I should marry the person. I've never told anybody to marry anybody in my life. Yeah, open your eyes, open your mind, open your spirit, know where you are going. After you have known, come, I'll pray over you. And if you got it wrong, it's you and that. That's my problem. Amen. Glory to God. Our biological children, I never got involved in who they married. And God knows. It's all about your responsibility. But if you miss it at that point, it's always uh, almost an irrecovery error. You won't make it. You won't make that kind of error. In your life, you'll not make it. Therefore, protect your destiny. Protect your posterity and protect your eternity. If that is not enough to warn you, I don't know what else will warn you. If I'd missed that, I would have missed ministry. So you don't know what you are missing. When you miss such a thing. Hear what I told God when the devil came to me, I will make sure you fall by fornication. I said, Lord. I said, Satan, you lie. I first replied him, You lie, you bloody devil. And I said, God, if I die, smite me with leprosy. I'm protecting my destiny. 
and protecting my posterity and protesting my eternity. For disconnect with anything that can destroy your life. Disconnect from disconnect today, not tomorrow. Disconnect today, not tomorrow. Disconnect today, not tomorrow. Disconnect today, not tomorrow. And I pray that none of you will miss your calling in life. From the depth of my heart, I pray that none of you will miss your calling in life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. 